Let's check out all the new features of quizzes in Quizzes AI. All right, let's take a look at Quizzes AI and see some of the things that you can do within Quizzes AI. So you will notice right here in the center, it says create with Quizzes AI. And what this is, is this is ways that you can quickly create quizzes from things like videos, articles, documents, all with quizzes, built in AI features. So some of the things you can do is you can create a quiz from uploading a document, whether that's a worksheet, slides, presentation, study materials, stuff like that. You can convert um, a YouTube video into a quiz. You can also import things from uh, your drive, such as Google Slides or Google Docs. You can also create things with a link. So get a link to a website or something. And then you can also create um, a quiz on any topic with by creating a prompt. So let's first take a look at creating a quiz from your own content. So if I click on upload file, what that's going to do is going to bring me here. And what I can do is I can upload any type of worksheet, document, anything that I have saved, at the, whether it be on my device or from something like my cloud, something like that. So let's go ahead and let's import something from my drive. Okay, so I have this worksheet here and um, let's go ahead and let's select the grade, subject level, Oh, we'll say 10th grade. And then we're going to generate the quiz. And so what it's doing right now is it is using AI to analyze the document that I uploaded to it. And it's going to create questions and things from the document that I uploaded to quizzes. All right, so now I have 22 questions recorded from just uploading a document and having Quizzes AI come through and create questions for me. So we have um, a fill in the blank, some more fill in the blanks. Actually, it looks like all of these are fill in the blank questions. Okay, oh, here's an open-ended question. Here's some more open-ended questions. All right, very cool. And so what I can do now is I can go in and what I can do now is I can come in here and I can edit these questions if I like. So AI created these questions, I can come back and I can edit them. So I can click on edit and here it just says 120 volts equals and this is what their type to answer should be, 120 watts. I can, um, add um, audio to this if I want. I can add a video to this if I want. I can add an image to this if I want. I can come in here to the settings and I can have, I can adjust how the answer is going to be given. I can give an alternate answer. I can give a hint to the answer if I like. I can ignore any type of accent marks if I have a student who's, you know, typing on a keyboard that's in a different language. I can ignore those if I like. I can ask them to show their work if they want. So we're going ahead and cancel this. I can adjust how many points it's worth here. I can adjust how much time they have for this question. And then once I'm done doing all my edits, I can go ahead and save the question. And so this took me all of about three minutes to find a document, upload it, and then I went through and Quizzes AI created questions for me. So something else that I can do here is while quizzes created 22 questions, I can also come in here and I can add some quick actions here with quizzes AI. So if I wanted to try to find similar questions to add to my quiz, I could do that. If I wanted to add an interactive video, I could do that. I can translate the quiz if I need to. So if I click on this, I can translate it to these languages here. But also if I wanted to do like a bulk update. So if I wanted to change all these questions right now, they're all set to 30 seconds. But if I wanted to change the time of all of them at one time, I could do that. Same thing for the point range as well. 
what I can do is once I'm done, I can go ahead and I can publish this quiz. And now this quiz is ready for me to assign to my students. All right, let's say, let's take a look now at creating a quiz from a YouTube video. And so what I can do is I can paste the link to a video here. I found one on Earth Day and I have some options here. So number of questions, I can have it just generate a number of questions automatically on its own. I can specify I want five, eight, 10, or 15 questions. For this one, let's just say that we want five. Its subject is science. And let's go ahead and let's say that this is for fourth grade students. The length of the video is around eight minutes. I can trim that down if I like. Um, the cool thing is, is make this an interactive quiz. So what this is going to do is this is actually going to show the video within the quiz, and then it's going to allow them to answer the questions as they are watching the quiz. So let's go ahead and let's generate quiz. Same thing. What it's doing is it's taking that video and it is analyzing it and it's going to create questions for me. Um, just by analyzing the video and um, using AI to create those video questions for me. All right, so now I have my video here. It gave me five questions. And so now my students are watching and you will see that it has questions throughout the video. So that came up with multiple choice, multiple choice. So these are all multiple choice questions. Now what I can do, just like I did with our previous one, is I can come through, I can edit. So let's say this first one, I'm going to edit this question. And I can change the point value. I can change the time. I can change if I don't want it to be multiple choice. And if I want it to be, let's say I want it to be fill in the blank, uh, open-ended. I want it to be an open-ended question. So now, um, when do we celebrate Earth Day each year? Students will type in their responses here. And so now I'm going to save this. Let's give them not three minutes. Let's give them 30 seconds. We're gonna save that. All right, so now we have an open-ended question here. We have multiple choice. Okay, let's go ahead and save. All right, so now we have an open-ended. We have some multiple choice ones. I can come in here and I can adjust these if I like at what minute marker it's going to show these questions is up here as well. And now I have it the way I want. I can publish this. I can also preview it here. So let's preview it. Let's see what this is going to look like. So now my students have the video here and they're going to have their questions over here. It also shows them at what time these questions are going to pop up so they can play the video. And then at each point, it's going to ask them these questions. So I was just a quick rundown of quizzes AI and some of the features that it has and some of the things that you can do as a teacher to quickly create some checking for understanding for your students. And most importantly, save some time in doing so. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll catch you in the next video.